grab you a screwdriver, go up along under here, pry it out, come up along over here as best you can, pop it out over here. You may at this point be able to get to it with your fingers and just pry the rest of this sucker out. I was hoping we wouldn't have to, but um, at this point, your ignition is still in the on position, which gives you the ability to move your shift lever as you need to get it out of the way to uh, undo all this. And it's just a matter of uh, negotiating your plastic trim out of the dash here, which, you know, obviously can be easier said than done. Just gotta work, work it out. There you go. So you need to change your instrument cluster or you're just needing to get in here for one reason or another. You're gonna wanna get this out because there is a, uh, there's a bolt back here. So I used a screwdriver and I popped it out and uh, it worked. Um, you're gonna want to pull those red tabs out right here like that and then pull the other red tab out. If it's too hard to do by hand, you can use a screwdriver. Okay, this light would stay in place. That would be awesome too. Um, if it's too hard to do by hand, you can use a screwdriver. But these little uh, little red tabs just, well, that one pulled completely out. And then you uh, just depress with your finger and pull. And don't forget you've got one over here. Just take a little screwdriver to get it out. All right, so to speed this up, uh, we've gotten the uh, headlight switch out. And I've already pre-loosened, well, I thought I did. Apparently not enough. Um, again, just like just about everything this truck uses, I'm using a 7 mil on this. I don't know what the uh, standard comparable socket would be to this, but you definitely want to make sure you get this uh, you get this bolt out of here, or you're going to break this thing trying to get it out. And this is another one you gotta you gotta kind of reach in there and get this thing out carefully. I'm just going to toss it on the floor with all the rest of them. Um, you got some more. You got another one. Right here. Right there. You got another one right there. You got three more. One, two, three. Alright, so... These are usually already broken, but it doesn't hurt to undo them anyway, you know? You're not going to hurt anything by trying to do it right. Um, you got another one over here. And we got another one right back here. There's actually two, but you only need to get this one off right here. I wish I could uh, get a little bit of better lighting on that for you, but there's two of them. Take the leftmost one out. And I almost forgot one. That one right there on the right side of the dash. Um, you already removed this one, but there's one right next to it. Don't forget that one. All right, so now that you've got out of all of that out of the way, I'm gonna make sure that I pull my uh, sticky mount off the windshield here. Yeah, those that part's broken in there. I knew that already. It's like that on most of these, so it's nothing to be surprised about. Um, so this whole thing here is just gonna come off. <laughs> And in fact, you may lose a few pieces out of it. Don't be surprised, these things are old and they're brittle. So be very careful with them as you're taking them off and sitting them out of the way. Um, you don't actually need to take this top piece off, but it will come off assuming you remove the radio bezel as well. Mine is broken, you know, that's something I'll be replacing later. But we're focusing on the dash right now, on the instrument cluster. Okay, you're gonna have a bolt right there. There's another one in this corner. 
There's a, another one at the bottom, and there's one on the bottom over here, towards, towards the left. You got one right there, one right there. Then we've got easier said than done. One right there at the bottom, down there, and one right there at the top right. After you uh, take those four out, which would be the same seven millimeter, you can pull this thing straight out and then you'll have access to your wiring. There's a lot of reasons you may need to change your instrument cluster. Mine is because uh, right here at 167.104, the uh, trip is not working at all. And the odometer is uh, on and off, on and off. So we're not adding up correct mileage. So it's time to change it out. Um, unfortunately, the one I got has 230,000 miles on it. But that's uh, besides the point. Um, beside the point, I will take a picture of this mileage as I replace it, and I'll take a picture of the new mileage when I put the new one in so that we can uh, keep pretty accurate track of what the mileage is really going to be on this truck. All right, moving on. You got your screws out. Um, like I said, this piece of mine is broke. It just comes off, so I just went in and took it off to save some time. Um, you can pull this out without removing that top cover. You just got to finesse it. Maybe... Uh, Pull it out a little bit sideways. Definitely helps though if you uh, take this top cover off. All right, so as you pull this out, turn it upside down like this, and you're gonna see your uh, shift indicator down here. And it's pretty straightforward. There's a couple tabs. Um, there's a, ta a black tab right here, and a black tab on the opposite side over here. What you're going to do is you're going to push that in and pull down and this whole thing will actually just start to pop out same thing on the other side push this tab in and there you go it pops completely out and you don't even have to worry about this anymore just set it to the side so now that you got that out you can focus a little more on what's behind here which are uh, stupid light i swear all the wires You've got uh, some plugs you're going to have to unhook. And these are just push and pull. This one's uh, appears to be a push on the bottom. Yeah, push on the bottom. And this one pulls out. This one over here has a push tab on the top right here. So you push that down and pull out. Move all of your wires out of the way. And your instrument cluster will come right out. Now it was a lot easier with this top piece broken. But um, you can do it without taking the entire top piece off. It's just more of a hassle. And if you need to get this top piece off, you just have to do it. Do everything we've already done. Move over here. Pop this radio bezel off, all right? Uh, check for other screws and stuff, and then just see there's, I believe there's one right here. I think that's it. Pop this radio bezel off, and you'll, re you'll be able to reach the rest of your uh, stuff down there to just pop this whole assembly off together. All right, so. Now that you've got your new cluster in, which I didn't do a video of that because, I mean, you just stick it in there and plug your wires back in, you know. Uh, I'm sure if you can get this far, you're quite capable of uh, figuring out the wiring. It just plugs right in. So, now you want to take this, fit it back up in there, and it's kind of a bear. It wants to fight with me. But uh, stick it up in there, and it should pop right back in place. Just like that. 
as you can see. So now there's little uh, little tabs down here that line up. One on that side, one on this side. There we go. There's those lined up. And now we put our four screws back in here, here, over there, and right there. All right, so now that you got your uh, new instrument cluster in, sorry, Kyle said to go out of focus there, um, you can put this uh, piece right here back on. You simply slide it behind the shifter lever over it around the steering wheel here and play with it a little bit and you too uh, get it behind your uh, turn signal switch here all right pull your uh, wires through right here make sure you don't lose them in the dash it's never never to be seen again get all this stuff out of the way here and uh Get everything lined back up. There's a little tab right there to uh, get that latched in so you know it's in the right place. Um, don't forget you got a screw that goes over here. Don't forget you got a screw that goes back here. All right. And uh, let's go ahead and get those uh, screws back in. All right, next you'll probably want to go ahead and... Uh, Put your uh, headlight switch back in here. Go ahead and hook all your uh, wires up. And then it should just uh, pop right back in the dashboard. You got, uh, at least on mine, there's three wires that hook up here. They like to try to creep back in the dash on you. With those attached, you should be able to just, uh, these things are on tracks, and as you push it in, it locks, just like that. All right, we got that back in. Next, we'll try to uh, fit this piece back on here without damaging anything. And it may be necessary to move the shift lever down so you can get in here. Uh, if nothing else, it makes it a lot easier. And pull the shift lever back up. Get, uh, get everything lined up where it needs to be, and go ahead and pop the tabs back in, and we can lift the tilt back up again, come under here, and make sure that we got everything lined up under here at the bottom as well. Everything looks good. So we got her all buttoned back up, as you can see. So uh, we'll find out what's going to happen now. Got all of our lights on. Let's see if we can turn this uh, flashlight thing off. 